beautiful day in uh, Dublin. I'm glad to be here. The past two days, we flew to Sweden to play the Getaway Festival. And then on the way back from the Getaway Festival, the plane company lost, Air Berlin lost every single piece of our luggage. All of our equipment, they lost all of our clothes, uh, toothbrushes, they lost everything. Clothing, um, wires, cables, wireless, guitars, drums, they lost uh, everything. So uh, then we played Alcatraz Fest and thanks to uh, Death Angel, Anthrax, um, uh, we were able to piece together a bunch of equipment and play. And then we played one stock yesterday with Slayer, and uh, Slayer lent us some stuff, and uh, so we were able to pull off the shows. And then we we went to a store and got what we needed to play tonight. Um, we have the bare minimums. We have like all backup guitars and like stuff that we don't normally use. So you know, it's kind of a struggle, but it was uh, an, an interesting three days. You know, flying and then uh, scrounging up equipment from other bands to to make our tour finished the last week, so that's what we've been doing. So, no sleep for the wicked. You know, I was living in New York, and um, you know, I had a group of friends, and, and I was dating a girl, and I was in a band, and it wasn't, you know, they it just didn't work out, so, you know, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do, so um, I was really into scuba diving at the time, so I said, you know what, I'm going to go out west, and Finish my diving license and and uh, you know maybe you know in a few years buy a boat and take out tourists and that was my plan and um, so I got on my motorcycle and uh, I headed out west and I just uh, you know I, I did a lot of soul searching I, I rode a, a lot alone through the mountains and through back roads and met people that I wouldn't normally meet and I um, you know I did this like this soul searching journey through the through the country and. Uh, so then uh, I got to um, uh, I got to say you know to deal with my family uh, who I hadn't talked to in a while and uh, <clears throat> you know kind of corrected all those demons you know uh, that I had with them and you know me and my parents became really good friends at that point and my brothers and my sisters and uh, so um, when I got to California which was like a couple months later. Um, I had real, you know, I, I still had my vision of, okay, this is what I'm going to do, and so um, I met some people, and I, I got a job, of course, um, uh, just working at a club. Um, I was bartending at first, and then I got a job uh, um, uh, loading in bands and stuff, and, and I was doing that just to kind of, you know, pay rent and everything while I finished my dive license and all that, and um, through the interim, I met, uh, you know, I, I, a stroke of luck, I met the right people. Uh, I met Dave Navarro and um, worked in his camp for a while and um, moved on and then it, I found uh, the tour with Exodus and Megadeth and then that kind of led to another spring of events and um, those events led to, hey, you know, Tom and Gary called me and said, hey, we want you to come audition and be the singer. And, uh, okay, you know, was, you know was I, what else am I going to do? <laughs> so it was a cool chapter uh, in my life to go ahead and, and say, okay. I'm gonna do this, and you know, since then I've, I've uh, you know, <clears throat> I found so many different things in my life. You know, I, uh, I still dive, but I don't dive, you know, like I, you know, like I did back then. And um, you know, I got really into into car racing and and, uh, and, and building uh, hot rods and cars, and so that's kind of where my passion is now. And so you know, I've always had it, um, but I didn't, you know, when I was on the road all the time, I didn't have time to do it. So um, now I have a little more time. It's, it's kind of cool that. You know that I uh, that life comes full circle. You know, at 15 I was a, a mechanic and always had hot rods and stuff. And then to come back as a, a you know and find it again was cool. It really was. So you know, that's how it all that's how it happened. I think uh, for me it was the five of us. Uh, we were in a, we were going to play a couple shows in, on the West Coast, and um, we were all in the van, and uh, everyone was awake. We had just gotten in the van, and we had just went to the gas station. Everybody loaded up on cigarettes and coffee and junk food, and we were uh, we were in the van, and Gary had put on. Gary was in the driver, in the passenger seat, and uh, he put on Exhibit B, and he uh, there was a new a brand new van that we had rented. It was kind of a cool van. 
it had a great stereo system and he cranked it up and we listened to exhibit B all together as one in the van and no one said a word at all the entire album we just everyone just sat there and listened to it and for that month like for that that hour that we were sitting there a little over an hour um, it was just kind of cool and then when it turned it off man we all kind of turned around and Gary goes God damn, you can sing. I mean, we, we made a fucking good goddamn record, and we just we all kind of like you know it was just one of those moments that I can't I, I can't convey it in the right words, but you know that's as close as I can get. That was one of my most um, memorable moments in that band. And those guys probably don't even remember it. You know what I mean? They probably just oh, I don't remember what I don't remember doing that, but I remember it. I remember that moment. So that's where that is. <laughs>
beer, red hair, freckles, and uh, beer. <laughs> yeah, that's what, uh, that's what always comes to mind. And, uh, and then, you know, actually, the first, we talked about this morning, like, the, if you, you know, like, we always go to the Phil uh, Lynette um, uh, statue over at Bruxelles in, in Dublin, and every time we go, it's just vomit is everywhere, all around it, and uh, we were like, we, we don't even have time to go tonight, we were hoping to do, we're not sure, we might have to go there for an hour and then leave, but, uh, yeah, so we were hoping that we get there, maybe there's not vomit everywhere this time, you know, so... That guy with a beard screams at a crowd. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's, that's pretty much what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm always just grateful that they come out to shows and they buy T-shirts and they buy records and they they come out and they, they get in the pit and they have fun and we all laugh and, and have a good time and because that's what it's really all about. It's going there and, and releasing. You know all the tensions and all the life's burdens that you carry through your week at work, and then you get to come to a show and have some fun and, and let loose and uh, have a few beers and, and have fun, and that's what it's uh, that's what it's all about—some good, friendly, violent fun, man.